Welcome students to this week's Spelling Netcast. Before we begin, let's make sure that we have all of the necessary items needed to accomplish our task today. Let's make sure we have our pencil to write with, our glue stick to glue in the heading. Remember, that's important. We need scissors to cut out our word chips. We need a Ziploc bag to store our word chips and our, our journal to write in. And last but not least, we need our spelling list. And this week's spelling list is sort 13. This is the green list. And it's more syllable juncture in vowel, consonant, vowel, and vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel patterns. Lower this a little bit. Let me show you this week's words. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they wonderful? Just look at them. All right. Let's take a second and cut them out. Pause the video and cut. Go. Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and uh, begin. Now that you've cut out all of your word chips, You've got your exemplars ready to, to write in your book. But again, let's go ahead and start by gluing the heading. So run a few beads of glue across it. Let's go ahead and put that at the top. Again, the purpose of doing that is it helps us stay organized, keeps our, keeps our journal looking nice and neat. And we always know what we're doing. That's important. Okay, headings in. Again, Mr. Powell looks to see if you've done that when I do the, the journal check. All right, let's start with our first exemplar. Our first exemplar is vowel, consonant, vowel. We'll be looking at some examples of that exemplar in just a second. And then let's go ahead and um, do this one here is called vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. And we're going to put in parentheses, we're going to write double it. Can you guys say double it? Okay. And then our last one. Well, I guess it's not our last one, but our next one is vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, and this is different. It's barely going to fit. Very, there we go. All right. So now that we've got those written, we can move them off to the side, get them out of the way. Oh, we have one more, and it's oddball. So down here, let's go ahead and include a, an oddball exemplar. And I think this week we have a couple or does it fit in that category? All right, let's go ahead and start by looking at our words. We have, let's go ahead and bring a few words over here and take a look at them. All right, let's do a few of these. All right, let's go ahead and start with the word silent. Let's take a look at it, silent. <clears throat> Let's see what pattern it, it fits under. Here we have um, a vowel, and all of our exemplars start with vowel, so let's start there, and we'll see what happens from there. We have a vowel, we have a consonant, so we have a vowel, a consonant, and then we have a vowel. Okay, so we don't have two consonants together in this word, do we? So this one's going to go under this exemplar. We have the vowel, the consonant, and the vowel. <clears throat> Again, we have the vowel, the consonant, and the vowel. So let's write silent here. S, I, vowel, consonant, L, E, N, T. The word is silent. Kind of quiet, huh? That's an L right there. There we go. S, I, L, E, N, T. Silent. Okay. This red mark makes it kind of interesting when you're writing L's and I's. kind of hides them, so I kind of darkened it up a little bit for you. All right, what I'd like you guys to do is, is this beginning vowel, let's see if there's any patterns that, that happen under the exemplars as we go. And so as we say silent, silent, we hear that long I sound, don't we? So I'm going to erase this right here, make the dot a little bit closer to this, and then I'm going to put a a long vowel sound above it. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to our next one. Let's throw out the word number. All right, well, let's take a look at number and let's look at happen. Okay, we have double it. We have the same vowel pattern, vowel, constant, constant, vowel, vowel, constant, constant, vowel, but we have one that's double it and one that's different. So I'm thinking that double it means that the, the consonants that are double are the same. And if we look at happen, that would be double it, wouldn't it? Because 
they're the same. It's double, and the, the constants are the same. So let's have that one be the doublet. So that's H A P P E N. <clears throat> and here's our doublet. Two letters that are the same consonant. Those two consonants are the same. That's the doublet. Okay, let's take a look at the vowel sound. Everybody say happen. Ha, a, an apple, a. That's short, isn't it? Okay, and we're just going to do that and see if there's any consistency under each of the exemplars. All right, now number is probably going to go into this one here because we have two consonants right here, but they're different. We have an M and a B. They're not, we don't have two M's or two B's, do we? So these consonants are different. So that's going to go under this exemplar. N-U-M-B-E-R. Two consonants, unlike this one, this doublet, they're the same. These two consonants are different. Does that make sense? Okay. And let's say the word number. Number. Nah, uh, uh, that's like umbrella, so that's going to be sh short U. All right. <clears throat> let's do, oops. Let's do um, a few more. Here we have the word fever. Here we have a vowel, consonant, vowel. Vowel, consonant, vowel. So that's going to exclude these two because they have consonants back to back or two in a row. So that's going to go into this one. So we have F, consonant, there's our vowel, there's our consonant, there's our vowel. All right. Let's say it. Everybody say fever. Fever. We hear that long E, don't we? So let's put a long vowel sound above the first, the first vowel sound that we hear. Okay, and again, we're going to continue to do that to make sure, to see if there's any, any similarities or if there's any consistency as we go. Here we have yellow. Here we have our vowel, consonant, consonant, and vowel. These two consonants are doubles. They're doublets. All right, so let's go ahead and write yellow. And again, we have two consonants, and they're, they're two of the same. So that's under the doublet. Let's go ahead and say the word yellow. Yellow, eh, eh. It's gonna, that's our short E. So we see a consistency there, don't we? We see we have two long I's. We have two short vowel sounds here. All right. And again, if this one fits under this exemplar, then we might have a, a short vowel sound. But we'll check it as we go. All right, we have two consonants in the middle, and they are different. So that is going to go under this, under this exemplar. W-I-N-D-O-W. Okay, and let's say it. Mm-hmm, that's short. Put that little short symbol up there. And there's our two consonants. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. And these two consonants are different. They're not the same again. All right, so continue in such fashion and to complete the, the, the sort. And remember that there are a couple oddballs in this week's, um, with this week's list. See if you can track those down. And most, maybe it has something to do with the sound. Maybe it's neither a long or short sound. So kind of keep that in mind as you're, you're doing your sort. All right. Okay, guys. Time is now yours. Go ahead and finish. All right, students, by now you have finished um, doing your, your sort with, uh, with the video. Now it's time for you to go ahead and do a lay and say. Again, tonight I wanted to make sure you get off to a really good start and you, you know, you really get these exemplars and what this whole thing is all about when you get it down. And so go ahead and do a lay and say. Remember to write down your, your exemplars. And again, I didn't write down one which is going to be the oddball, so we can do that real quick. All right. Remember that because I'm asking so much of you on Monday night with spelling, you guys are not responsible to, to do the, the vocab video until tomorrow night. Okay, so get your land say done and be prepared. We expect great things of you, and the reason that we do this is so we can become not only spellers, but readers and writers as well. So keep up the good work, you guys, and see you soon.